Hey guys, Jordan here again. Day two in Paris. Um, still here at St. Christopher's Inn. Today, since we couldn't see the Louvre yesterday because it was closed, uh, we decided to get up early and get in line and wait to get into the Louvre and go wander around the museum for a couple hours. Hey, uh, excuse me, but your balls are showing. <laughs> we met a few other German girls here at the hostel who were also going to the Louvre that day, um, Christina and Jana. Um, we've run into a lot of, we haven't been to Germany yet, but we've run into a lot of German people. I think it's a um, German holiday from university right now, so a lot of German people are traveling uh, in this month. Now, I don't know if you know this, but uh, inside the Louvre, there's a lot of art. I know that sounds silly, because one who knows what the Louvre is would assume as much. There is a staggering amount of paintings and sculptures and artifacts from every era and every country. And oh my god, there's so much to see. There's no way you can see it all in a day. Um, it's crazy, crazy how much stuff is there. You know, there's like four floors full of, you know, you know ancient era Greek art, uh, ancient era Roman art, Roman paintings, Roman sculptures, uh, Egyptian art, African art, Sub-Saharan African art, Aztec art, like, you know, early North American, Native American art, like, every type of, you know, culture, every type of, every time frame, there is something from it artistically in the Louvre. It's an overwhelming amount of art. You're just wandering around looking at more paintings than I've ever even knew existed in my life. Out of all the paintings I've seen in my life, 98.5% of them I saw today at the Louvre. It was nuts. The unfortunate part of it is that most of the signs at the Louvre are not in English. Uh, most of the plaques underneath arts that kind of describe what's happening in the paintings or when it was done um, are mostly in French. You can get audio tours, which we didn't get at the beginning, not realizing that everything was in French. Some things are in English, so we could kind of understand. And I read a small amount of French, so I could kind of get the gist of some of it. Um, but even without context, uh, the art was beautiful. Um, There's just so many paintings. At a certain point, you just kind of are at a loss for words. You know, there's, there's art on the floor, there's art all over the walls, there's paintings on the ceiling. But yeah, we just browsed the Louvre all day until we were so hungry we needed to leave and get food. <laughs> so we went and got shawarma, which was uh, a dish I had only ever heard about and didn't know what it was. Um, but I got some lamb shawarma and some falafel, uh, and it was really delicious. And, Usually kind of a picky eater, but I find myself uh, trying a lot of new different types of foods and drinks here um, and broadening my palate. After we were done with the Louvre, um, Christina and Diana went to go shopping, so Sam and I walked back to the hostel to do some laundry um, and ran our laundry through the dryer twice and it's still wet, so that's cool. But while we were waiting, we played some beer pong uh, in the bar and downstairs, um, which is apparently fascinating to non-Americans. Uh, we had like a crowd of people like watching us, asking us questions about how to play, and uh, we played a couple of games. It was hmm, pretty fun. We had a good time and conversed with uh, some people from Portugal uh, who didn't speak English, but we each had Google Translate on our phones, so we had a nice conversation the best we could that way, and uh, then called it a night. Yeah, that pretty much sums up our second day in Paris. So thanks for watching, and tune in next time when we explore the Paris catacombs.